Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. This week's DIY was sent to me by a viewer and she found this plant stand on Pinterest and asked me if I could recreate this stand using my own vision and my own style. So the first thing I did was took a ride to Home Depot to gather our supplies that I needed and the first thing I was looking for was a base for the stand. And I also asked the associate at Home Depot that he could cut it into the size that I need. I also found some wood borders and those were also cut into the sizes that I need. And also when I got up to the registers, they were only 98 cents each. I also forgot to mention I purchased two 10 feet and ended up with four five feet eight and a half inches borders. So to start, I'm going to start off with a 12 by 12 square wood base and I'm going to draw marks so I can know where the center of the board is. Next, I'll be marking the base so I know where to screw in the first wood border. And I also marked both sides. Then I'll be pre-drilling two two-inch screws. Using my drill, I'll screw in the base to the first border. Here I already drilled all three borders five inches apart. Next, I'll repeat the same steps for the front border. I was given the extra borders, so I'll be taking one of them, measuring it down with the base, and cutting it to 12 inch for the top part of the stand. I did notice when I used the screws earlier, the wood did crack a little bit. So for the top part of the stand, I'll be using two inch nails. I will have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. I'll be adding two extra nails on each border for reinforcement, a total of three nails on each border. After attaching the front border, I'll be taking another 12 inch border to attach the top part. Here I'll be using a 3 inch nail to make sure the nail goes through all three borders and I'll be using three nails. I forgot to mention that I did add a Gorilla wood glue in between all the woods before I attach them all. I saved this TV box because the cardboard is very strong so I'll be using this to make my shelves. I end up cutting 10 of them to size and now I'll be using craft glue to glue two together using a generous amount. Here I'm just using clamps to hold it together as it dries and I let them dry overnight and I also ended up making five shelves. I 
I also order shelf brackets from Hope Depot in two different sizes. Before I screw in the brackets, I put markings on the borders 12 inches apart and I screw in the larger brackets on the back and the smaller brackets in the front. Next, I'll be drilling the shelves onto the brackets using one inch screws. Next, I'll be applying clear Gorilla wood glue on all the brackets for reinforcement. Next, I took the stain outside for painting, and I also made a bottom shelf 12 by 12 made out of cardboard. Before I started painting, I sand the whole stand, including the shelves. Before I started spray painting, I added one coat of Mod Podge on the entire stand. This will actually help the spray paint to adhere much better. Before spray painting with navy blue, I spray painted one coat of white spray paint on the entire stand. This will actually help the navy blue stand out even much better. Next, I'll be using this marble vinyl paper that I purchased from Walmart and I'll be covering all the shelves. This vinyl paper is very easy to use. Just peel and stick on. I will also be using this spatula that I purchased from Dollar Tree just to smooth out any air bubbles. I had these dessert spoon stems saved up for a while now so I'll be using them on this project. I also added silver gem wrap on the edges of each shelf. And here is the finished look. I am so glad I took on this request. This was so much fun and I did it according to my style, but you also may do it according to your style as well. Thank you so much for watching and I have other DIY videos linked in the description bar below. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with friends and family and hit the notification bell for more upcoming future videos.